We have the engine light come on here, which when we've scanned it on VCDS has come up with an error on the flap intake motor. And it appears that that is due to the motor wearing over time and having too much movement, which is why it gives an implausible signal that it's not expecting. So by putting a adapter on it, it means we can stop it moving quite as much, which will stop the error code. So I bought this kit, which only cost five pounds, which allows you to adapt the motor adjustment so that it's not going out of range as it gets older and more worn. You might find that the kit comes in several parts. You have this metal plate that's got two holes in it and some bolts. So you've got the end opposite the curve and that needs the plate attached to it. So the first stage is to remove the engine cover, which I've done, which just lifts off. Then you need to remove this plug that attaches to the motor just comes off and then we have three Torx T30 bolts that need to be undone. So I've got T30 and just need to get onto these three bolts. So I've got the first bolt out. That's now, now the second one. Third one was just there. So I've just pinged off the ball joint and removed the spring clip, and that is now released. So you just need to attach this plate onto here. This then fits onto the motor at this point. You can see there's a bolt hole there which this lines up with, and then that sits flush. Once you've attached this, you've then got the bolt that goes through and goes through this plate just here and you just need to turn that so it goes through and then we'll come out this side to hold this in place. So the spacer and adjuster are now in place and we can put this back on the car. You can see how that is prevented from moving that lines up and stops it. Um, this plate has to be on the top edge because if you put it underneath here that would then no longer be flush and not able to sit against the car where it bolts in. So the motor is roughly lined up, we just need to put the spring clip back in. Ball joint is now fitted and the spring is fitted. It's a little bit of a fiddly job but then we just need to tighten up the three bolts that hold the motor in place. And to finally just put that uh, plug connector in. Having put everything back together, connected the plug, the last thing I'm just doing is putting a torch in here just to make sure that the ball joint and the um, spring are still in place, which you can't see from here, but if you have a look down into the gap between the motor and the intake, then you'll be able to see. And fortunately, they have 